Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy. This time we're going to talk about something really big. Where did the moon come from? Well, you look up at the moon and you think, well, it's probably always been there. Not so, though. About 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized body called Thea struck Earth and it threw up a ring of material that accreted into the moon. Thea is the name of a Greek goddess who was the mother of another Greek goddess, Selene, the goddess of the moon. How do we know this? Well, in the 1970s, two planetary astronomers Bill Hartman and Don Davis figured this out largely from comparing Apollo rock samples with Earth rocks. And the isotopes, the kinds of elements in them, are identical. And the easiest way to explain that is a common origin. The giant impact hypothesis, as it's now called, explains a lot of things about the Earth-Moon system. Earth's spin and the Moon's orbit, the high angular momentum in the system, evidence that the Moon was once molten, the Moon's small iron core, and of course those identical isotopes within the rocks that match perfectly. So probably you can ask now, well, what happened to Thea if this Mars-sized body struck us? Well, you're standing on it. Most of it got absorbed into Earth. Something cool to think about when you're gazing up at the moon with your Celestron telescope. I'll see you next week. Thank you.